Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. 40 Australian cricketers and support staff have arrived in Sydney this morning. From playing in the Indian Premier League, they've spent time in the Maldives after the federal government banned Australians returning from India for two weeks. They'll spend 14 days in hotel quarantine. The United Nations has called for an immediate ceasefire in the violence between Israel and the Palestinians in Gaza. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says the crisis is utterly appalling, with more than 200 people killed. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Gilad Erdan, was defiant when addressing the UN Secretary Council this morning. We will take all steps necessary to defend our people. Now the choice is yours. The world is watching. Last week's federal budget failed to give the Morrison government a boost in the opinion polls after preferences. Labor continues to lead the coalition 51 to 49 in today's news poll. Scott Morrison leads Anthony Albanese as preferred Prime Minister 55% to 30. And Aussies who are 50 and over are now able to head to the GP for an AstraZeneca jab. For the last fortnight, they've had to head to state or federal run vaccine hubs to be jabbed, but things will get a little easier from today. To sport in AFL Melbourne has continued its unbeaten run with a 26-point win over Carlton at the MCG. In Rugby League, Melbourne Storm have made it seven wins in a row, beating St George Illawarra 44-18. In the A-League, Perth Glory beat the Western Sydney Wanderers 5-1. In tennis, Rafael Nadal has beaten Novak Djokovic in three sets in the final of the Italian Open, winning 7-5-1-6-6-3. And in netball, the Giants beat the Queensland Firebirds 67-60. In entertainment news, Twitter has erupted after Channel 7's tell-all interview with actor Craig McLaughlin. The special was screened last night where the actor spoke out after he was found not guilty of indecently assaulting four women during a 2015 production of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Twitter users called the actor out for excessive lip quivering and slammed the network for making him seem like the victim. The interview aired just a day after fresh allegations surfaced, accusing McLaughlin of sexual harassment. Tiger King star Joe Exotic has revealed he's battling prostate cancer. He's tweeted the diagnosis from prison. He says he doesn't want anyone's pity, but is pushing for the US president for a pardon so he can get proper medical care at home. And the Muppets have made a surprise appearance on Saturday Night Live. Kermit the Frog kicked off the evening, introducing guest Lily Tomlin. That's your latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.